What's up, everyone? Welcome back to episode 5 of the Ranked Up series and part 2 of Champ, specifically. In this video, I'll be going over a Champ 3 replay and go over what they are missing and what they're doing right or wrong. Without any more of a delay, let's get right into the video. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to a replay review. We're at Champ now, Champ 3. We're almost at GC. And yet again, if you're interested in being the GC1 replay and for me to go over it join the discord linked always in the description and yeah i already went over this replay so i kind of know what the margins of errors are but before we go over those i want to quickly say that a big part of the ranks we're about to get to high champ three uh and plus is mentality that is the thing keeping everyone behind and everyone stuck where they are, right? If we... Right, 30 seconds in, there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong so far. The only thing that I would say is a little uh, aggressive is this demo here. It's not wrong. It's just a little aggressive for my taste. It might be the right play even, but... It's, I'd still wouldn't do it. it Maybe too aggressive. But yeah, mainly it's mentality. And it's probably the most important and most vital thing in this game. And it is so overlooked. But it is probably the most important thing. Like in the game. Besides knowing how to drive and flip into the ball. But those are more easily done. Right here in the corner here. We get a kind of poor read on the play right our car is pointing towards the middle even though teammate can't make another play on the ball because you know he's passed the ball and the next person is elder right here but of course he's not just gonna hit it into the middle so we got to kind of cover the kind of cover the middle while covering the outside taking it around so i'd stop right here and start more aiming towards the ball just to kind of cut that off and if they take it to the middle which is more beneficial for you because i believe your teammate uh scared a bump or a demo didn't get it but you scared it that way it's a little more beneficial cover more options but good little pass here into the middle your teammate rotated around just in time a little slow off the wall there but with the the help of that bump uh it worked out so yeah take a 1-0 lead early on I see kickoff they're we're cheating on kickoff which is a big positive this is already a lot better than everything else we've gone over so far very very good see it it didn't work out in their favor but they still did it still had an option to do it right going for a little little fake kickoff passing play here kill a read right here i would have taken more control of the ball and kind of moved it along the back wall here. Maybe I would have tapped it out a little bit and went for a follow-up play. Cross map or air dribble. Something like that. But I would have stayed on the ball instead of just hitting it out. And giving possession right back to the opponents. Keeping it close is uh, very important once you get higher, higher, higher and higher ranked. Right here, not bad. Good job not panicking here. If we were here in champ like one two whatever we went over and below we probably would have panicked and missed and probably had a goal uh, against us but we didn't right here it's kind of an early jump we can we can look from here that he's probably not touching this i say probably because you never know but even if we do like if this guy does touch it here it'd be better for us to wait if he can't touch it us jumping here forces us, so we have to make this decision to go. And if they get it over us, that's just our fault, right? No panic touch there, or panic clip. It's either an opt-out of the play, or it's, you know, a panic misinput, stuff like that. Right here, we're watching the correct person right here. We're watching Elder, but we're not also watching Jinx here. And what we need to do here is realize that 
elder might not touch the ball here right we don't know he has low boost but right here as soon as it's like how do i get a good angle on this right here we need to know that he's not touching it it's very very hard but we got to know by here that we have to just jump right because jinx here rushing the ball on the low and just pops it up over us we got to be watching we got to know that when he's not hitting it we got to jump right away that's just reflexes and varies person to person but that's what i would suggest right here this is like the first particularly wrong thing here this is the first like obvious obviously you're trying not to hit, miss the ball but unless it's some sort of fancy kickoff that i don't know about but these guys are not queued together so this was not planned the orange team was so right here we make the first like completely wrong thing we go for the left mid boost right which leaves us boostless and it gets us demoed if instead of going out here and we're using the right stick here which is the i think the first or second time we've ever seen it used in this series but we make a turn here what i would suggest doing is instead of going a, look how far away the ball is boom and boom we see our teammate there has enough boost to follow it up so he's following it up what we can do there is go grab this this or turn immediately grab this and this because we are uh, low on boost we go like this we can flip towards the middle here but then we continue and stay with the play right if i'm right here i'm not demoed first of all and you know i'm in the play i can follow this up because mr jinx here now has enough time to because thunder has to stall and wait for his teammate to come back but i'd be on the play again and again if you make that turn i don't know what this was here i think you had like the, this person had like two ideas in mind because it looks like he's going for the demo because he's not jumping but at the same time he's not going for the ball so it's kind of awkward make an either or decision go for the demo or go for the ball good idea for the catch but based off this corner play we should know that and us not driving through pads we should know that we're low on boost here and we should probably aim for a 50 catch the ball corral it and aim for a 50 which it looks like we kind of went for but not at the same time this right here this is like it's just weird positioning because if he hits this ball middle like right here we're not ready for it right here we're still not ready for it we're ready for it when the ball is not going this way so if we switch up our play here so we spawn here i'm gonna try and take position here we're in the car i'm playing these pads right he can either cut this and if i'm playing this wide uh elder here gets possession of the ball if I'm playing this wide and he realizes this, the smart player, the higher level player, will take it, trap it, and then just bang it on that, right? Especially if we're playing this far out. So if we play closer in, where we we'll spawn? We spawn right here. This ball is here. We either go for these two pads, that's up to you. And we grab this pad and either we turn in because it looks like they're going to catch it. Or if they look like they're going to hit it, then we can turn up field, right? We can grab this pad and this pad and then instead of staying wide here because we're giving up the entirety of the map here even though jinx is uh completely out of the play elder's trying to stall time here right thunder is low boost and we drive into the corner with him where we're no help at all because believe it or not your teammate here has possession of the ball so we should be either just be out here because we're trying to speed it up play the ball and get a goal like a counterattack play going so if we're sitting in the corner here there's like very little shooting angle you have to shoot it like from this angle but if we're more middle and more around here and the ball comes in fast because elder goes up wall here if thunder hits us out here a we're not there so we can't make the play b 
because look where Jinx is. Jinx is not in the play at all. He's grabbing boost. He's kind of involved in the play now. He's ready for... The only thing he can save right now is a like a low slower ball like this general area but if thunder gets it out to here and we're ready for the ball we have the middle here we have the side and we have low here because elder is not gonna go straight down he's gonna get messed up by the uh the wall so thunder has to play this to himself and people may be wondering like oh my my teammate's not passing it to me and i'm ready in middle if you are in this position and they're not passing it to you. yes that's that's on them but if you're in this position you're saying oh you're middle you're not middle and it's a harder shot to make right because a you're further away and b there's probably a good enough defender to stop a, a low ball so if you're around here more or here or here even you have more of a uh, a shot and you're more of a threat because you show the passing option and you're like a threat you're still a threat like you're the the passing threat but since thunder can't pass it mid he has to take it and uh we have a, a chance of a goal taken away because we're not in the right position pretty much just be middle don't crowd into the corners we can take more time here this is a, a rush shot because we see our teammate going for the demo. We're like, oh, we got to go. But we jump way too early. And we slam it back wall. Luckily, not there to counterattack and not there to score. I don't mind this play. It's not the best, but I don't mind it. I currently can't think of a different way to play this besides maybe let it bounce and then take it up. Like, if you were the, for the ball to bounce, you just look to where the first man is on the orange team. And then you take it from there accordingly. That's the only other thing I could think of right now. But it works, right? Right here, we get the counterattack. We have 41, right? It gets past Elder here. Elder's not touching this. We should be aware of that. Uh, Jinx will be in position. We don't know that he's little boost, unless we do know, which is why we put it high. But we go for the air dribble instead of the uh, the regular shot. If we go for a regular power shot there, uh, good chances it goes in if we place it far side. Bully them out of the way, no one to defend. Open net. Nothing I can really say there. Just good play on us. We finally hit the, uh, the ball off kickoff, so that's also a benefit. Decent 50, not the best. When you're in this position, you don't want to boost here, right? Because if you get behind the ball a little bit more, like you corral it a little bit more, and you play the low 50 or you play a 50, like the person's gonna 50 into you, right? If you look at his turn, like Elder's turn here, uh, which one is he? Is this guy? If you look at his turn here, he, he sees like, okay, he goes up not a good idea but he's, he sees you corral this right he's thinking you're gonna take this left right so he he's diving on this so if you play the low here and you corral it really just boop you slightly tap your l2 or lt even without the boost here and you can play right behind the ball all you have to do is watch where elder goes elder does and you're you're chilling I don't mind this cut. This cut's pretty good. Just not a fan of this part. I watched this part earlier. I was like, this was a head scratcher for me. Cause it's like, why would you just... We're just giving up possession, essentially. When we could have the counterattack, yes, then just grabbing boost. But we can counterattack this. If we grab boost here, perfect. Don't grab boost, not perfect. If we get a demo, perfect. If we don't get a demo, we don't have boost. Perfect boost spawn here. Good job waiting for the bump, but oh, also not overcommitting. Thunder misses the ball. Nothing we could do here. Not on you, just teammate couldn't hit the ball in that uh, circumstance, so. But we <laughs> we gotta be hitting the kick apps. It also seems that we just right stick 
uh, for boost. Like, we can see here that Elder's gonna get this before us, like, even if we flip. Or maybe if we flip, we can beat him, but we would have to commit a flip, and I don't know if that's really worth it. Also, going back left. Luckily, the ball goes to us, but in general, you don't want to go back left when teammate has the ball, because you're giving up map spacing, whatever you want to call it, map presence, pressure. We can wait here a little bit longer. We have seen that Jinx is backed off. Now he's going for the ball. Look how much boost he had to use to like catch up to this ball. While well, we have 100, right? Go for the demo here. If we switch our directions, if we go up the wall, entirely avoidable. Right, that's what I want to get. So, then we grab some mid, or the back left, we grab the mid. I don't know why we make this turn. If we go up the wall and get a touch on the ball, it's so much better, right? As we see this ball, it's going to bounce forward because there's no change in its direction. So, I would be... I would be right here because the ball is going to bounce out and look where it is. I can hit this up for a little tap into an air dribble. These are just things we have to be aware of, and we, and we have 100 boost, so it is like a completely possible play. Good dodge on the bump there. This is, a, in my opinion, a panic challenge, primarily because Jinx doesn't have a shot here. The most threatening thing you can do here is, is put it on that, right? But the way he jumps and the way he's spinning, it's not really a threat. And we commit ourselves, and Thunder's not there to back us up. Or help us out on our mistake, so we get scored on. Good shot, good regular kickoff, right? It seems as long as we're not the one going for it, it seems to be a regular kickoff. Good hit, good power, or good enough power. And it goes in. Okay. What do we do here? We go wide, good. We're aware here. Right, this is this is good. Um, we manipulate kind of the camera, the positioning of it to show us the map and who's shooting. But we get a little too caught up with our speed that we forget that there is an end to the wall. And we don't stop in time and we mess up and it happens right but when we're getting this close to gc where every little mistake starts to add up and gets you scored on uh it as i said it totals up right there we should be we should be ready for plays like this if we stop here right if we don't use that boost like if elder misses here what's he gonna do about it you're right there, ready for the shot. But since we play the... I don't even know what we play here. We play the hit, but we also, like, go towards... We have no play in the corner, even if we have under boost. Luckily, we score because teammate is there, but... We could have been the one to score if we just slowed it down just a second. Good. We made contact on the kickoff. Now, here... I was debating about this earlier, but there's two things we can do here. We can do what he's doing here and going for the corner, playing the second man, or we see our teammate here going for the boost. We can be the aggro first, or not even aggro. We can be the first man, and instead of flipping here, we flip or flip or drive to this boost because, look, the ball pops out here. It takes a little touch. Imagine we grab this boost and we jump and we flip into the ball here. Not only would this panic him to go up, but it would, you know, force a play out of him. Maybe give up possession. And our teammate is ready with 100 boost no matter what. Because he grabs a corner and he turns up the up the field. Or into the, into the middle. Into the middle of the field. And let's say this ball is 50 and it bounces here and it bounces up. A uh, jinx... Might be in position, but Thunder is closer to the ball, right? It depends on if he reads the play or not. But this is a more dangerous, uh, dangerous position because we're we Thunder might get flicked on, and we're not ready for the save. So 
This is a good job waiting. This is good patience here. Unfortunately, we get a bad touch. You have a little bit more time to drive back. <coughs> Just a little bit more. And get a better touch. That's all. Good boost grab. Jinx plays the first man there pretty well. Unfortunate that no one was there either side to recover the ball. We do this little wait thing. Like, we do this little tap L2. It's happened in all the ranks before us, like, where we're randomly tapping something. Early on, it was the boost for no reason. And then later was L2 or LT or the brake button. Like, here we slow down. You can kind of see in the way the car moves, the car jiggles a little bit, like the suspension. Boom. And then it kills our momentum, and this is another part of it where we're just not... Our awareness isn't there yet, right? We're driving through the middle, and my initial thoughts was, okay, he's going to go grab the pads and play mid because our teammate is there on the ball next where I don't know what play he's going to make. But instead, we opt out of the play. We completely disregard the play, and we look for boost, and then we turn it back on, and we turn on the ball right. This is fine. You know, there's there's two seconds left, right? Or there's ten seconds left. I would have, because, you know... Going down here, I'm grabbing either of these pads, this pad here, and this pad here, and I'm turning in. Because guess where that would have put me? Right on the ball. If, if he touches this or not, it doesn't matter. It's still in the offensive half, right? We can be as not aggressive as we want. I don't want to make mistake it for like being aggressive for no reason. But we can we can make a few risks on like two seconds left because if they clear this ball, it has to go in the net, no bounce. And there's not a high chance of that. There's a chance of it, but it's not a high chance so there's really no threat in playing this option here because if he misses and we're right here we get another 12 pad we jump and we score possibly but we play far back and we get a pretty poor shot if i'm gonna be honest on net and it's cleared and save and to ot we're really just weird on the kickoffs we want to make sure our kickoffs are consistent and luckily thunder here if we watch this play from Thunder's perspective real quick. Then it goes back, that's fine. Cut it there. And then the a lack of kind of our awareness from Jinx here. Not even... It's just kind of poor positioning. His teammate turn. He's just out of position here. And the, the weirdness of the spot that he was in, it kind of led to the goal there, right? But yeah. Uh, I'd say overall pretty decent. I don't know what type of C3 MMR range we're at. I have a feeling we're in the 1400s, maybe low 14, high 1300s. So if, if anybody doesn't know, uh, and you're still at this part of the video, I really appreciate it. But MMR breakdown is like, I don't remember what, uh, bronze through, uh, diamond is, but champ is like... 10 or 1100 champ 2 is 1200 champ 3 is 13 to low 1400 and then gc 1 uh depending on if you're playing ones or twos threes is just a little bit higher but twos is 1435 so you got to be like 1340 or 1336 plus i think to get gc and then GC2 is 1585, I believe, plus. And then GC3 is 1715 plus. And SSL is 1875. So if you want to see me try and hit 1875, aka SSL, uh, Road to SSL is coming back. I've just not been playing the game. So that's on me. But I do hope you guys learned something. I do hope you guys keep that mentality thing i uh, i said earlier on in in your own head some sort of way and uh yeah hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one peace